Hi, welcome to this in the studio with Kate. This is week 50. Um, I wasn't here last week, so due to travel and stuff like that. So anyways, um, I just got back from my trip. So I'm just going to show you what I've done since the last time we met, which was this owl. Um, um, this is a black sketchbook by Dilusions. So this was all done in colored pencil. Um, I use polychromos colored pencils, and they're really quite a lot of fun. So it was really different trying to render an owl in uh, pencil versus paint. So that was fun. I took my sketchbook with me on my trip to Oregon, and um, my sister and I met up, and we just did some sketching in town. Um, this was just a sketch when we were at Monoma Falls, like there's the falls right there and trees and stuff. It was just a little memory of the view we were sitting at. We could also see this little gate, so I tried drawing this little grade and then some rocks, you know, just little sketches from our adventures. And there we were sitting in this cafe right across the street from this really elaborate house, so I tried drawing at least a piece of it. And then this lantern, which kind of looks crooked, but it still tells you what that experience this was. This I did in the hotel. Did I do it in the hotel? I might have done it in a hotel or a rest stop or something. Just drew a face, then I added watercolor to it later. Nothing spectacular or anything. And then we had, with Sarah, I had gone to this labyrinth and garden and we saw this purple flower, it was really pretty. So I had taken a picture of it. So I just drew that flower. And then I was, this is my attempt to join Danny Gregory in pencil. Um, I think it, it's not perfect or anything, but you can tell it's him. So that was kind of kind of a lot of fun. Um, so those are all the sketches that I did this past week or so. But the other thing we did was, let's see where it's at. Oh. While I was gone, my class, the new night at U, um, had a live painting session for the full harvest moon. And I, when I initially went, I thought, oh, I'll do another mandala that'll be different. But then when the day came, I felt like focusing on the tides and things like that. So I went out and bought a um, rectangular canvas to do that on. And I painted the ocean and the full moon. So this is the painting I did. I think my balloon is a little wonky. I might have to fix it a little, make it more round. Um, I like do a little tweaking on it, but then this just kind of gave me um, that motion of the waves and the tides and the moon coming up. Um, it was really a lot of fun to paint. So those are the things that I've done like this last time. Um, but for now, um, um, so that's about all I have to share today. Um, I guess my message is that even if you're traveling, you can create things if you take the time to do so. I know in, I would have liked to have done some more sketching, but it was just like on the go and you don't take that time to stop. Took a lot of pictures that, you know, I may actually end up sketching later, but I like doing things while you're there. It seems to have the emotion and the feeling of your experience when you are in that environment that you're in. So I highly recommend that if you get a chance, it's just to, it's like stop and smell the roses, stop and do a little sketch. I think it just um, becomes part of you, your, you know, just the way you're doing things. Like, you know, you get up, you have breakfast, you know, there's all that. I mean, Danny Gregory does this big thing about uh, before breakfast, just draw your breakfast and then you get to eat it. And that's getting to get that really in that you will be in the habit of actually creating every day. So give it a whirl, give it a try. Let me know what you're doing. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Until next week, let's make art.